Hi there, this is Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In today's video, I'm going to be covering a um, new medication called Tepeza. So Tepeza is used to treat thyroid eye disorder. And so we'll get into that. We'll get into the medication, how it's dosed, side effects, all that stuff. So normally what we see, Tepeza, you're going to see it in people who have Graves' disease. Graves' disease is uh, basically like an autoimmune overactive thyroid. And one of the hallmark things that you see with people with grave disease is their eyes will essentially bug out. They'll, they'll have these really wide eyes. And uh, over time, what can develop is this thyroid eye disorder. So they can get irritation, redness, tearing, double vision, and the eyelid swelling. And generally speaking, it will show up within six months of a diagnosis of Graves' disease, sometimes a little longer. But... To this point, there haven't been a ton of great treatment options for the thyroid eye disease, thyroid eye disorder. And in the past, what we've done is use steroids, usually multiple uh, courses of steroids. We'll start with oral, then we can do injectable, we can do rituximab, and then eventually they end up with surgery. So it's kind of nice that you know we have other options right now. So what is Tepeza? First of all, it's a monoclonal antibody, and that's um, there's a bunch of drugs that fall in this class. But what it does is it essentially it's an insulin growth-like factor receptor blocker. We'll get into a little bit of what that eventually does in the body to help. But the most important thing, and and you can see this in the literature if you look up, you know, what is specifically is it doing to help? It hasn't totally been figured out yet but we believe it's related to this insulin-like growth factor. Okay, so how is it dosed? The first thing to know about Tepeza, it's not a tablet, it's not a solution, it's an infusion. So you are gonna to have to go into an infusion center. We'll get into the dosing here in a sec, but it's this treatment lasts um, roughly 24 weeks and it's dosed every three weeks. So it is a commitment on your part uh, to go in and do this. So jumping back to the dosing, what they will do is if you do this, you're going to start out at a lower dose for your first infusion, maybe your first two infusions. And then after that, they're going to bump you up to the maintenance dose. And that maintenance dose is done every three weeks. And it's done for eight cycles. So essentially 24 weeks. Okay. Um, now let's look at how effective it is. First of all, there's two main studies where they looked at it. They're not huge studies, but what they did find is they compared uh, to placebo and it was more effective than placebo, significantly more effective than a placebo. Um, what did it help with? It did decrease the double vision. It did decrease the irritation in the eyes. And the nice thing about it is they just came out, this was presented at a thyroid conference recently, and they have followed some of these folks out to 120 weeks um, past when their therapy was finished, and they're still receiving benefit from these infusions. So all signs point to it being effective and, and doing a good job on a long-term basis. Now let's get into the side effects because there are some, and there's some important things to note here. First of all, and, and maybe most problematic is we see high blood glucose. So, uh, and, and they had really saw this in the studies with anybody who was pre-diabetic or type two diabetic. They had a lot of issues with controlling their blood sugars. And in some cases it could be severe. So if you're diabetic, and a lot of the population is, this is something you want to keep an eye out for. It's not that you can't use it, but you just have to be very careful. And again, getting back to this insulin-like growth factor, what we're seeing, or what we believe we're seeing, is that when you block this, you're going to see an increase in growth hormone. And that increase in growth hormone can actually lead to two things. One, it can lead to uh, stages of insulin resistance, so your receptors are not going to be as receptive to insulin, and you're also gonna see an increase in gluconeogenesis, which is your body's way of making sugars from non-carbohydrate sources, okay? And this can lead to other issues down the road. So, 
High blood glucose is a big issue. Um, there are injection site and also allergic type reactions and they can happen, they don't necessarily happen right away. So that's something to keep an eye out for. We also saw a fairly high incidence of side effects. Okay, so muscle spasms, we saw that in 25% of study participants. Amenorrhea or dysmenorrhea, which is either a lack of a menstrual period or painful menstrual period. So in women, 23%, nausea, 17 alopecia or essentially hair loss, 13%, and then fatigue was 12%. Now, obviously, if you have thyroiditis disorder, these sorts of trade-offs are the things you may have to make. And I always caution people, when I get into side effects, I, I, I never like to do it because people see that and they're like, man, I don't know if I want to try this or, oh, I, he mentioned muscle spasms. Now I know I'm going to get muscle spasms. Try not to think that way as best you can. But the fact of the matter is, side effects do exist with this and they're fairly common you know make that what you will the other thing that people always want to know what's the cost okay so all i can give you is the cash cost and it's extremely expensive it, it runs around at this time sixteen thousand dollars per infusion now obviously i doubt anybody's going to pay cash for this so my advice would be is if if uh, the Tepeza is something that seems interesting to you, I would call your insurance because as an infusion, it's not gonna go under your prescription benefit, it's gonna go under your medical benefit. So it'll go towards your deductible, all those sorts of things. Um, so just call and see if it's on your formulary, if it's not, can it be prior, author, prior authorized, can it be appealed to get it paid for? That's your first step. Um, and then it depends on what your deductible is. So needless to say, it is not inexpensive. It's a very expensive medication. So with that being said, I hope this was kind of a good breakdown of what Tepeza is, what it does. Does it work? Which it appears to, to help quite a bit. It appears to help long term, but there are side effects with it. So those are the trade-offs you have to make and that's kind of your overview. So. Um, let me know in the comments if there's other videos that you want me to cover. As always, like and subscribe, and I will see you at the next video. Thank you.